I had my first cervical smear when I was 27. It's just one of those things that I kept putting off that I, that I thought I didn't need. I had colposcopy because my cells come back abnormal. Um, I had a smear test at the doctors and I was sent off to the hospital. The first set of results that I got, I got by post and that's when they told me that I had CIN3 cells. There was a lot of medical terminology in there, so it just left me a little bit confused. I didn't really, I couldn't take the information in. So I did go on the internet and I did a lot of research through forums and, you know, speaking to people on those forums as well as looking at just general information. So I got a screening, um, previously known as a smear test. Um, it's a simple examination, um, taking some cells from what we call the cervix or the neck of the womb and we check in for um, what we call precancerous cells, abnormal cells. So precancerous cells are also known as abnormal cells of the cervix. Um, if detected um, early, these can be treated to prevent it from progressing into cervical cancer. Colposcopy examination is just like having a smear test, slightly prolonged. Um, we use different solutions onto the cervix to identify any abnormal areas so that we can take biopsies if need be. After that, the sample is taken to um, the histopathology department and that is explained as um, cervical intraepithelial neoplasia. Again, um, CIN1, mild abnormality, CIN2, moderate abnormality, and CIN3, severe abnormality. When I went into the surgery, I was given the local anaesthetic and I could feel my cervix getting quite heavy where the anaesthetic was, you know, taking effect. Within that time, my colposcopist has actually she'd done the surgery, so I didn't really, I didn't feel anything. It didn't hurt at all, the procedure was fine. I was really terrified that it would hurt, but I didn't even feel the local anaesthetic. When you are referred here, in most cases, it will be um, the very first time for patients. Um, it's usually frightening for a lot of patients because um, they confuse it with um, cervical cancer. It is important to reassure the patient that this is not cervical cancer. Um, these are precancerous um, changes which, if left untreated for a long time, it may um, progress into um, cervical cancer. After you have your colposcopy surgery, normally you would go back every six months just for a checkup. I think the advice I would give to any woman is just go and have a cervical screening because this is going to possibly save your life. It's so important just to have that done.